Hi, I hope everybody is having an amazing day today. I'm just gonna pull this up so I can see. Oh, and I forgot to put my mic on, so we better do that right now. Um, so I wanna thank everybody so much for me. My mic doesn't seem to wanna go on here. Okay, thanks everybody for joining me. And I'm just gonna try to pull this up so I can see the comment. Here we go. And um, we are going to make some really fun bows and a swag, um, a wreath. So I'm going to get started. I'm so excited. I got this um, great, let me see, I got this wonderful, hi, Gloria. I love how you guys always join me and say hi. And even if you're watching the replay, I love how everybody comments and says hi to me. Oh, wait, how come we're hearing this? I don't want to hear this. Okay, I have no idea why my sound was on it. It's usually not, but at least I know that you're hearing me because I could hear me. Um, so I'm going to start with this beautiful ribbon, and I was so excited. I got two huge boxes of new ribbon from Morex that's on the bodabra.com site, and I'm so excited to play with some of the spring ribbon and the St. Patrick's Day ribbon. So I'm going to just fold this in and... Also, I'm, I want to thank all of you who have been ordering from bodabra.com because it means so much to me when you do. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so now we're just going to fold this back over. Hi, Mary Hubbard and Gloria from Connecticut and Sally from Ohio. So how are you guys doing with winter weather? Is it still pretty bad back there? And now I'm just going to fold this back in. So we've got four loops on each side, and this last one I'm just going to scrunch right in here. Then I'm going to grab my Amelia ribbon, which I just think is such a pretty, it's kind of like a silk sort of. We're going to just fold this back over, and um, oh, I'm glad you're doing great, Gloria. And just so you guys all know, we will be giving away a roll of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon at the end of um, today's live. And I wanna thank everybody who watches me, not only on our YouTube, on our Facebook channel, but also on YouTube. Because if for those of you that aren't aware, we put up a new video every Wednesday on YouTube. And we've actually been putting a couple shorts up there. So if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, I would love it if you would. So we're just gonna fold this back in here. And I'll just do a little loop there for kind of our button loop. I'll take my Bodabra wand, and I'm just gonna scrunch everything down and pull this up. And after this, we're gonna make um, we're gonna make today a St. Patrick's Day wreath, and we're also going to make a spring wreath with all the fun new ribbon that I got. I'm so excited. Hi, Edna. Oh, the 50s, that's not bad, Sally. Thank you, Gloria. I love these colors too. I'm having so much fun with all the new spring ribbon. So we're gonna take this and bring this around here. And we're just fluffing everything out. And this is a nice wired ribbon, so it's a little easier. If you have trouble fluffing, a lot of that can be if you're using a wired ribbon or a non-wired ribbon. So we have this beautiful little bow, and how super simple was that? So I'm gonna take this bow and I'm gonna just put it aside. Thank you, Sally, for sh sharing and sprinkling. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an absolutely beautiful pew bow. So if you know anybody that's planning a wedding, um, it's really easy to do it yourself with Bodabra. So I'm just going to take my ribbon here, I mean my bow wire, and I'm going to just lay this down into my bow dabra and just tuck the ends underneath so they stay out of the way. And we have all of these pieces that are just wonderful of all the different ribbons. And I was so excited, like I said, because today I got to really play with a bunch of new ribbon. So we have this tool that is really pretty. It's got little sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. And then we have our whimsical ribbon, 
which is definitely glittery. So if you're not a glitter person, this probably isn't the ribbon for you, but it's so much fun to use. And then the beautiful um, silk, satin, I mean, not silk, white. And Gloria, thank you for sprinkling. And Edna, yeah, wired ribbon does make everything a little bit easier. So let me pull all this up here. So I'm going to start with um, this ribbon here. Let's go to this one, I think. So we're going to take this and just twist. And I'm actually gonna stand up for this because I'm putting so much ribbon in here. We're gonna just fold this back over. Hi, Donna from Ohio. And love your Bodabra. I've had mine around since 2000. Then you have one of the very original Bodabras. We've changed a little bit in um, the design, but not that much. We've just, what we did to make things a little bit safer for children is we've hidden the springs, whereas some of the original Bodabras had the springs showing. So we're just, but that's the thing, guys or ladies, the Bodabra lasts forever. I mean, it. I wish we could sell more, but they just don't break. So here's our, our whimsical ribbon here. Then I'm gonna take my pretty sheer dot ribbon, and we're just gonna bring this back over here. And I love these really big pubos. I think they're so gorgeous. I'm just gonna fold this back over, twist, bring this back in here and now i'm going to take i'm going to leave that as a tail and now i'm going to just take my um satin ribbon and we're just going to twist it fold it and this could be a really pretty also i mean i it's a beautiful for a pubo but it also could be a chair bow or a beautiful bow on a swag or wreath. So we're just gonna keep folding this back over. And, um, hi, Joanne. I'm so, you know, it's so fun for me because I feel like it's our Monday night get together. We see the same people here on Monday nights. We're just gonna fold this and it's so much fun to see you. I hope everybody had a great weekend. And if you are watching the replay, please let me know. I'm gonna twist, fold it, and bring this back over here. And I'm gonna just take um, my tool. And I think what I'm gonna do is just make a smaller bow here and bring this through here and just twist it and bring it back and just give that, a, just cut that there. And then I'm going to take my um, pretty little, uh, we'll just add this in here. And then I'm gonna take my last dots ribbon and I'm going to just twist it, fold it, and twist. So I know we're putting a lot in the bow dabber, but that's what makes these bows so great, is you can really put a lot in. And right after this bow, I'm going to make a tiny little hair bow. Not tiny, but a small hair bow. And then we're going to do um, two wreaths that we have designed. So I'm going to just fold this back over twist and fold it here and twist bring it back over and twist and thank goodness this doesn't have glitter because i have so much glitter on my table right now i'm just going to lay that in then i'm going to take this really pretty little flower we're just going to lay that down in the center and take my wand Give everything a really good push. And take my bow dabra bow wire, pull it up. I'm going to pull it through the slip knot. Hold everything down while it's still in the bow dabra. 
and pull it out. Separate the ends. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but my hands are so covered in glitter right now. And we're just going to tie a knot and double knot it. And now we'll start shaping. So we're just going to bring our flower into the center and shape out all of our loops and bring around the, all the loops in different directions. Bring this here, bring that down. So you can see, Edna, thank you. It is beautiful, but oh my goodness, am I glittery. So we're just gonna bring this here. So as I'm shaping, these are all wired ribbon, which definitely makes it easier to shape. And we're just gonna continue fluffing it out. And sometimes this can be the most frustrating part, but it makes it look so beautiful. We're just gonna bring our whimsical ribbon and here we go with our absolutely super simple but beautiful pubo. So I hope you guys like this. I just shine. Oh, Edna, thank you. That's so sweet. And don't forget to join our Bodabra fan gallery. So I'm going to take this, put it aside. And um, oh my goodness, I am so covered in glitter. I'm actually going to get this here and get some of the glitter off of here my magic glitter remover it's all over everything and now what we're gonna do is make I think I said I was gonna do a hair bow next so let's do a cute little hair bow and I'm gonna grab my mini bodabra now we have had people ask if you can make um, hair bows in the regular bodabra you definitely can, but the mini is a little bit better because it allows you to make the smaller loops. Whereas in the big bow dabber, sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult. And I'll show you what I mean in just a half a second. So now I'm just gonna take some of my spring ribbon. I'm just gonna scrunch that down in here. Then I'm going to take um, this ribbon here, and what we're gonna do, and this is where it becomes difficult to do it in the big bow dabra. So I'm just going to scrunch this in here, and we put it wrong side up on this. Then I'm gonna just make a loop and bring the right side of the ribbon into my mini bow dabra. So I have a little loop there. Then what I'm gonna do is cross this over here and again, take the right side and scrunch that down. Then what I'm going to do is take the bottom loop and I'm going to go to the center and scrunch that in and then take this, do the same thing here. And you can see I'm doing like a little mountain in the middle. It looks like I almost lost my, there we go. And scrunch that down in there. So now all my loops are the same. And let's just turn that there. And now I'm going to grab a little piece of tool. We're just going to make a tiny little scrunchy bow using the tool. And then I'm going to take these pretty little um, corker ribbons and we're just going to lay those in here. And a lot of you know my trick for corker ribbon is I actually buy it already created as corker ribbon. Hi, um, Sharon from Maysville, Kentucky. Cool. Thank you for joining us, Sharon. Thank you, everybody. And Mary Ann, thank you so much. And Sally, thank you. And now I'm going to just separate the ends, bring it around to the back. And I want to thank all of you for sending the love. I love seeing the hearts come through. And we're just going to knot that. And then I'm going to just shape this out, bring this up here, and bring these down. And then I also cheat on my alligator clips. I get them all ready with the grow grain on them. So all I'm going to do here is bring this across here. I'm going to also take this one. So I'm just clipping it open. So I bring them both through. Then I'm going to bring it around the back and just tie this through here. So that's just going underneath the clip under here. And I'm going to just bring this back around one more time. 
and I'm going to come back up here. So what's cool about this is it's not going to hit the little girl's head because it's hidden underneath the clip. We'll just tie a knot. So this is a very easy way to attach an alligator clip to a little bow. So we're just going to clip that. And now you have this adorable little boutique bow. I hope you guys like this. I'm going to put it aside. And the next thing we're going to make is a St. Patrick's Day um, wreath. So I'll put that aside, that out of the way. And oh my gosh, I have lots more projects to do today. And um, so I'm going to take it. Hi, Sharon. We said hi to Sharon. And Shirley from Shelby Township. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining me. And we'll take this and put that aside. And so now what we've done here is I've actually already wrapped um, a Dollar Tree um, St. Patrick's Day um, wreath form. And we're just going to, all I'm going to do here is just bring it around, bring it to the back. I'm going to grab a Zot. You could obviously use um, a glue gun. And oh, don't forget everybody say hi to Tessa. She's manning the cameras today. So definitely make sure you say hi. And I'm going to turn that over, put it aside. I'm going to grab my Bodabra. And I'm going to start by taking um, my tails. So this is some of the fun St. Patrick's Day ribbon that I got in my package. So we're just going to take this, scrunch this down. And now take one more, the thin white one, and I'm making a total mess up here. I definitely need a bigger table. So now what I'm going to do is take some of our Chicago ribbon, which is great as like a in the back because it adds um, it adds a little bit of fluff. Oh, who told me that? Thank you. Did you tell me? Oh, Tessa, thank you. <laughs> Oh, that always happens. So let's just take everything out, put the wire in, lay the wire down here. I just get so excited when I'm doing this. I forget my wire and I'm just going to tug, the, put the ends underneath. Then what I'm going to do is take my tails. Let's put these back in really quickly and grab my green. And just say, give me a shout up if you like this ribbon. I think that's so pretty. Or just send some hearts. And now I'm going to just twist this and fold it back over. And we're going to twist and fold and twist. And twist, do we twist it? Yeah. Twist it and fold this back over. And then what I'm going to do is take my um, shamrock ribbon, and we're just going to twist it and lay this down into the bodabra. So I want to thank all of you guys who shared and everybody who's commenting. Oh, and for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Sandy Sandler, and I'm actually the creator of the bodabra. So I just, you guys have been so amazing to me over the years with your wonderful um, uses of the Bodabra. And I love how you guys join me. And we're just going to fold this back over and add one more loop here and scrunch that in. And then what I'm going to do is grab my green ribbon. And what I like about this is the sparkle, that glitter doesn't come off of this ribbon. <laughs> so it's, it's a little bit better than the one that I was using before. So we're just going to twist it. And um, from Southern Alabama, Lisa and Marsha from Michigan. So how's the weather up in Michigan, Marsha? Is it nice or is it cold? And Gloria, thank you. And twist. Fold this back over. And twist and fold, twist. So we're just going to fold and twist. 
fold it back over. So it's a lot of twisting, but that way we keep the ribbon on the outside, the good ribbon on the, or the right side of the ribbon on the outside of the loop. Then I'm gonna take a piece of my Gleam ribbon, which matches the shamrock, and I'm just gonna scrunch this down into the middle of my bow. Just give this a really good scrunch down. And take my wand, and we'll give everything a final good push. And I also want to thank everybody who has joined our um, Bodabra fan gallery. I really appreciate it when you guys join us and share all your amazing projects. So we're going to separate the end and bring it around to the back and tie a knot and double knot it. And now I'm going to take my bow. Well, actually, let's shape it a little bit. So we'll shape this out and shape all my loops. And again, we just shape by pulling everything in opposite directions. So we'll just kind of pull these out here and bring these in. I just like to put my fingers inside the loops and just fluff them out. So we'll bring these around and then bring these around here and fluff them. So um, I forgot to put the music on today so we could hear music while we were going, but we'll have to do that again next time. And um, I'm going to bring all of these tails down. And we've already dovetailed the ends because that gives it a more finished look and bring this down and bring this tail down. And now I'm going to take it and we're going to use the Bodabra bow wire. If I can find the other end of it, I think I have another end of it somewhere. I have to. So uh, where's my wire? Oh, there it is. OK, because I'm like, I know I have to have the wire. So we're just going to bring this, turn it upside down. And we're just going to tie the um, bow up in the corner. So this is a great way to make a beautiful St. Patrick's Day shamrock. And it's so super quick and easy to make. So just take this, show you this one, and let me know what you think. I think it came out really pretty. And it's so super simple to make. So we'll take this and put this aside. So um, now what I'm going to do is let's see what else we have oh well let's make another wreath so this wreath i've already covered with our burlap and um here we go and i'm just going to use like i always do rather than using a hot glue gun i'm gonna just take this and um and just use a zot here and just finish it off there and I have a little bit of a space left, but I'm not worried about it because that's where I'm going to put my bow. So I'm going to take my bow dabra and let's grab everything that I need from down here. My goodness, I need a bigger table for sure. Um, and take this and take these here. So we're going to have some pretty florals in here as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just put that, oh, put my wire in <laughs> and fold this over. Thank you, Shirley, and thank you, Edna, and thank you, Gloria. Um, and a special thanks to Kathy, who helps me prepare everything for our lives. So we're going to lay this down in here, just tuck the ends underneath. Then I'm going to take this and just lay that down in there and take another one of our fun spring ribbons. So I'm going to just twist and scrunch that down in there. So all we're doing here is just fold, twist. And I know some people like to turn the Bodabra when they're doing it. I personally can't do it. it. It just messes me up when I try to turn it. So I just, for me, it's just fold. I just remember fold twist and scrunch thank you brenda i really appreciate that i love doing the lives 
and I love having all of you join me. And the other thing that I really love is how you guys have all joined us in our Bo Dabra fan gallery. Um, I noticed today that we had a really, we've got some really amazing people that have been joining. And um, one of our new members is actually Grace Monroe Holmes. And they've been a long, they do wreaths and they're just spectacular. So you definitely want to check their website out. And it's Grace Monroe Homes, and they're fabulous, and they just do gorgeous, gorgeous wreaths. So I highly recommend that you check them out on Facebook or on their website. So now I'm just going to fold this back in here, and now take this pretty, I love this spring gingham check, and we're just going to make a little loop here, kind of fold that back and forth, and fold and twist and bring this back in oh my goodness i cannot believe we're running out of time but would you guys like me to continue um making another project or should we wait and do the next projects for next week let me know because we have so many things we prepared and fold this back over fold and just twist that one over here and then I have this really pretty pink that we're going to lay down in here. So it's really fun because we kind of mixed and matched all of our different ribbons. And now we're just going to lay these pretty flowers in here. And put one more in there. And take my wand and we're going to give everything a really good smush. And bring it out here. And... Oh, one more day till Valentine's Day, yeah. And now we're going to, and that's right, I forgot to say, we do have a sale going on in our Bodabra, um, on the Bodabra store, where it's 20% off any single rolls of ribbon. So that's a really good deal. So now we're gonna bring this back over, tie it off, tie a knot, And, oh, Brenda, thank you. And now we're going to just bring these into the center and shape it out. So I'm going to bring all of my loops around and bring this here and bring these loops. And actually, I'm going to tell you that I would totally, let's just bring these, can bend these up. They're shedding everywhere, but it looks prettier, I think, when they're bent up. So we're just going to continue shaping this. And you can see all the different colors really look pretty. I'm just going to hide these leaves kind of behind here and bring all this and then tie this onto, I think I'm going to tie this onto my wreath. Let me grab, I'm having trouble grabbing all the bow wire today. I'm not sure why. So we're going to bring this around and just tie it on. And Donna, congratulations, Donna Harrison. Oh no, Donna Sutton, Donna, congratulations. Sorry, Donna Harrison, I saw your name on there and kind of shape everything out and we'll shape it out a little bit more for the photo but i can't believe we didn't get through everything i have so much more so definitely join me next week and we'll show you some more projects and i'm going to just take this and then this was one bow that we made then we have our wreath that we made and if you're just joining us then please make sure you go back and just watch the replay then we have this beautiful pubo. And then we also had a really pretty spring bow that would be a great wreath bow or for gift wrap. And then the last but not least is our cute little hair bow that we made. So I want to thank all of you so much for sharing, for liking, for following us on Facebook, and also for subscribing to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.